Hi, I'm Abhilash and welcome to my channel. Uh, previously, we made a solar plane that's supposed to fly by just using solar energy and which was a successful project. But this plane was only able to fly in summer. It was very difficult to fly in other seasons. So this plane was consist of two coilless motors, two servo motors and it was powered by uh, flexible solar cells. And there was also one battery to power its control surfaces. Please check the link in the description for more details. Okay, so there are mainly two objectives of the plane. So first one is that uh, flyability in all weather conditions. So it must be able to fly even if um, solar power is not enough. And, and another is it must have uh, some sort of ESC instead of just on-off control. To control my cordless motor as well as plane, I am going to use a receiver brick by WL Toys. So this receiver brick contains two servo motor, one ESC for cordless motor as well as a receiver that is compatible with fly, fly sky transmitter. And the major advantage is that this complete module only weighs around 6 grams, uh, which is incredible. These receiver bricks are also very inexpensive. I got one of these by just to be 700. Next thing we are going to need is a battery. Unlike previous case, where we have used battery just to power our control surfaces, here we are going to use battery to also power our cordless motor. Battery already have some sort of battery power man management system. Uh, this uh, IC don't let it over discharge or overcharge, which is very useful in our case because our solar cell are heavy, can give power up to 6 volts and which can overcharge our battery and kill it. Okay, so next obvious thing we required are solar cell. So here I am going to use Sun Power C60 solar cell. So these cells are able to provide 3 watt of power with 3 volt supply. So I am going to use around 5 of this cell and we will cut them into half, connect them into series uh, so that we can get around 6 volt of uh, power over and over and 15 watt. Has wingspan of 78 centimeters and flying weight of 160 grams. Uh, here polyhedral is also applied so that we can avoid ailerons. Airfoil section is also improved compared to previous design. And if we talk about structure of the plane, it is very much similar to any two channel RC plane. And here I have used carbon fiber rod to make the wing stiffer. Otherwise, even slight bend in the wing can easily uh, damage our solar cells. If we t talk about tail section, it is directly copied from tiny trainer from flight test. And a uh, tail boom is made of another carbon fiber rod. And if we talk, talk about nose section, then uh, size of it depends on what kind of battery and motor you are going to use. There must be enough space to accommodate all of this uh, stuff. To transfer motion of the servo motor to our control surfaces, uh, thin carbon fiber rods are used, uh, similar to any typical RC plane. Power our plane, 10 solar cells need to be connected into series, and working with these solar cells required extreme care. These cells are very brittle and can be easily break or damaged by impact, and also dust and other contamination will degrade its performance. To protect the solar cells, I have used transparent uh, tape. Obviously this is not a very good way to encapsulate solar cells but yes this is the easy way. Uh, and obviously this will uh, reduce the power output from the solar cell. As can be seen in the figure, here battery and solar cells are connected into parallel so that battery can continuously get charged by solar cells. And as I discussed earlier, this battery has some inbuilt uh, protection circuits which don't let it overcharge uh, and which is very useful feature for this application. Okay, so that was all about solar plane. Now it's time to uh, do few trials and fly it. Okay, so now system is ready and I want to check its performance. I have placed it into uh, sunlight and uh, run this motor at full throttle and parallelly I also monitored the voltage of battery and uh, this test ran for around uh, 25 minutes before battery turn up and yes this uh, today it was a bit cloudy and uh, this is the season or time of uh, year where I get almost minimum uh, solar output as solar angle is around 50 degree 
so i am expected to get much more power in summer so complete video of 25 minutes of this test is there so link is there in description please check it out so next thing i wanted to check is the power contribution while full throttle run that how much power is provided by solar cell and what is the power that is provided by battery so i have connected one amp meter to battery and another sorry one amp meter to solar cell and another to motor so that i can check the power contribution here in this video the multimeter shows the total power that goes to our motor and servo motor and all while that another small meter just above that multimeter shows power that comes from solar panel okay so that was enough test of our pen now let's fly it but there are a few problems that need to be encountered like uh, flying this plane in uh, windy condition is very difficult and it also have a lower rudder response and uh, still we need slightly more power to have um, so in future plane i will try to take care of all these issues and try to make a plane which has some weight lifting capability and uh, which is more like a product than just a scratch build plane so thanks a lot for watching this video and please subscribe for more project like this